Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We're doing another random pack video. We have 26 packs, hobby packs of baseball cards, mainly from 2020 to 2021. Obviously, we are in the midst of the playoffs and it's been a lot of fun to watch. We're Red Sox fans, so we're ecstatic. We are pumped. Uh, and we're going to get a chance to watch them against the Houston Astros. And the Houston Astros and the Red Sox, they're like best buddies. They like kiss and hug each other every time. It's just a love fest, so we can't wait to watch, you know, some brawls happen, bench clears. Um, baseball. Baseball, yeah. Anyways, it'll be fun. Uh, obviously, the Astros are really good. Um, Red Sox are good, but I'm going to say... If I were to look at odds, I'm guessing the uh, Astros definitely are going to have odds in their favor. But I could be wrong. You never know. Uh, yeah, the Red Sox look pretty dang good in that Rays series. Their pitching is obviously still kind of sketchy, but they're uh, hitting, hitting is their offense clutch. is on a tear. So yeah. Uh, then you have, of course, the Atlanta Braves, which are you know not necessarily a surprise, but obviously Acuna is not playing. Um, and either the Dodgers or the Giants. So we're filming this video on Thursday. I believe the game is tonight, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Of so the Dodgers, Dodgers and, the Giants. and Giants. That'll be obviously a huge game. Um, game five. Game five. I don't know who I'm rooting for in that. I don't really. I'm kind of neutral. Um, I'd like to see the Dodgers only because of Mookie Betts, but I've also liked to see the Giants just because they are the story, really, of the season. No, I want to see the Giants. I do not want yeah. to. The Dodgers have been in the World Series, right. what, like the last two times? Exactly. That, that I said the only reason why is because of Mookie Betts. Other than that, I would, I'm would. i like a 90% uh, you know, Giants, and then 10% of my love goes to the Dodgers. Oh, the other reason, too, is, of course, our friend Pepino Man does work for the yes. Dodgers. But we want Pepino Man to get another ring. He didn't get one the first time. I thought he did. No, he didn't. No. They did not get they gave him to everybody but certain things. And oh, one yeah. of the certain categories was the field crew. Yes. <laughs> the grounds crew. Bummer. This time if you know. But anyway, uh we are shocked that I I wouldn't say shocked, but kind of surprised that the Red Sox made it through the Yankees and the Rays. Yes. Two of the best teams in baseball. Yeah, now of course the Rays were missing you know, and they had been for a while. They're starting pitchers, and the, all these young guys are pitching. I do think that that plays way more of a role than what people think. I think rookie pitchers in the playoffs is a lot tougher than what people Especially think. Especially in an atmosphere like Fenway. Yeah. When you're used to, like, the Rays stadium, right. going to Fenway is a little bit different. So Yeah, and they couldn't win the first two games. That's an interesting one, Captain Kirk. What, Maryfield? Um, the yeah, the atmosphere of Fenway versus the atmosphere of the Tropicana Field or whatever it's called now is yeah, a bit different. A bit different. And let's just say this: watching any sports right now with the live fans that fill the stadiums is like so much better. Yeah, like than thirty thousand times yeah. better. I mean, watching football with all the fans is so much fun. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a it it changes the game. There's, oh, anybody who says it doesn't is not thick and straight you've never seen sports before right because it's true it, it does significantly shift the the, f the players feed off i mean they don't just say that because they want fans to fill the, the seats i mean they do feed off the crowd there's no doubt about oh it. yeah gregorius jeff mcneil dunruss of course baseball releases are now going to start to slow down a little bit we've got update coming out at some more ridiculous prices for uh, most likely not many people who will be in that. So that's interesting. Bryce Harper out of nine ninety nine. Yeah, I haven't looked at the prices. What are they for that right now? They're expensive. And they're not too crazy, but they're still is like over $100 a hobby box and like yeah. 115 a hobby. And I don't remember what the jumbo is off the top of my head, but they're pretty expensive on blowout. Um, I am going to be buying Bowman Draft to sit on pretty hard. Uh, I think this Bowman Draft class is ridiculous. So uh, I'll be buying some of that. It's a cool yachty. Dansby Swanson, red. Yeah. Oops. The yeah the Braves you know playing really well, uh, but cool. I don't think the Braves have a shot against either the Dodgers or the. I would agree. Or the Giants. If but, they had Acuna, it would be a different story. Yeah. But I mean Freddie Freeman, they, they have a good team. They do have a good team, but I still think they're a year away from being really really good. The White Sox really. 
Yeah, they could not. Out, yeah, yeah, could not uh, handle the pressure against the Astros. I mean, the Astros are just like very, very good and have tons of experience. And so. the po- all of those guys have been in the right. They're all postseason veterans, yeah. basically. And that team, for the most part, the Astros has pretty much stayed together. I mean, obviously there's some big players missing, but um, there's a lot of the skeleton yeah. left on that. You still have Altuve, Correa, you got Verlander, right. you've got um, what's his face, their other pitcher, fifteen on fifty. Ooh, Mr. there Robert he is. Pop- Ooh. Ooh, whoa, that's a nice card. Dang. Wow. Very I wasn't cool. expecting to see ink on that one. I just thought, oh, it's a gold. Dang. Wow. All Where right. Sleeve for this one. No, the sleeves are over here. I got it. He's uh, I don't know how much people are buying him right now, but you know what he. Uh, he came out first in the Bowman uh, product release of what was that, 2020? Yeah, he pulled the orange he, Robert Pasta. He was definitely one of the more sought after guys. So, very cool. I will take that all day long. This is, I love the look of those cards. Very clean. Yeah. All right. Top Series 2 Jumbo. So, good start there, that's for sure. Um, we've got a die cut of some form in here. Yeah, I did not expect to see ink on that at all. I was just expecting a gold. Very Ver- cool. Verlander is out um, right now. It has been. I don't think yeah, he's no, going to he, be in the playoffs. I don't think so either. And I, I talked to somebody at one of your football games. You know, we're in Michigan. We live in Michigan. And one of the guys I was talking to saw my Red Sox hat and he's like, Did you see, you know, did you see the game or something? He's like, oh, Something about the Astros. Are the Astros winning? He asked me. I said, I don't know. I didn't check the score. And then he's like, Yeah, I'm still following Verlander because obviously Detroit fans. Have nothing are, to root for, right? Are like sad fans because they they lost Scherzer and Verlander, and obviously those guys went on to play very well for the. Didn't Evaldi pitch for him too? Who's yeah. now the Red Sox? Yes. No, I don't think Evaldi did. Maybe uh, Anibal not. Sanchez did. Whoa, I'm on what a is that? Oh, he smokes. Brian Hayes auto. Dang. Cool. All right, this is a good. Um, yeah, you're gonna have a tough time beating this. I don't think I will. I give up. That numbered. That's kind of a, I a really it. interesting autograph. That is very interesting. Oh, We've, it's numbered, too. I didn't see the numbering. Uh, it's numbered 7 out of 50. Right yeah. There. But it's a weird. horizontal sticker, and it looks like he's a pitcher from this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, a, that's a weird It card. almost looks like he's on a mound. Look at like you turn it around again. Like if I looked at this, I'm like, oh, yeah, he's he's a pitcher. It Darn. almost looks like he's on the mound. But yeah, <laughs> Cool. Cabrian. All right. We don't have a Cabrian auto, so that's cool. No, we don't. Um, he definitely showed flashes of potential. I mean, a lot of these basic young baseball players don't count them out their first year. I mean, oh, definitely. There's not. definitely a lot of potential with these guys. Um, it takes a lot. I mean, Raphael Devers is probably a prime example. If you said he's not going to amount to anything after his first year and a half or whatever, obviously you haven't been watching baseball. Devers is a baller, and I'm actually surprised that some of his prices are not a little bit higher. Being a Red Sox, being yes. a Red Sox player, being a star for the Red Sox, we've got something flipped over. What is that? Oh, it's like an aqua shimmer. Oh, interesting. interesting. And finest. Um, Freddie Freeman. And there's Mr. Cabrian and Jazz. And let's see what this is. Let's see if Luke can keep up the heat here. Is that Kyle Lewis? Yeah, Kyle Lewis out of one. That's one of the new inserts, or I mean parallels this yeah, year out of finest. Cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, Yeah, Kyle Lewis. Oof. One of those guys that people, you know, great, would send like 50 of his cards yeah. off to PSA, like just like the Gavin Lux category. Did not turn out so well. Yeah, I mean, once again, though, it's he was injured a lot, so it, it's hard to tell. I'm not counting him. No, saying, but if you're sitting on a ton of his PSA 10 yes. stuff or PSA nines, or I whatever, it's, I sold some of his stuff last year, and I also sat on some of his stuff. But knowing that it could go way down in value, but when you're opening it up at retail prices from last year, it's kind of a you know, there's not much risk there. No, when you're buying it at uh, substantially you know high prices compared to retail price of uh, what it was last year. It's a different story. So, Yeah, I would completely agree with that. This is Pro Debut, so let's see if we can get anything out of here. You get, what, a couple autos and a Pro Debut Hobby Box? Yeah. 
So a lot of the stuff we bought from our friend Chase at um, the dugout in Columbia, Missouri. So uh, we don't have a local uh, card shop by us. So we've established somewhat of a relationship with him and always fun to order through him. Always ships it out on fast. And we usually what we do is we order a box to open up on the channel when it releases. And then we get a second box to use for these random pack videos. So some people wonder where in the world do we get all these packs from? That's how we get them. Uh, we can't go into a hobby shop and just buy a bunch of packs just because we don't have one close. So It'll also be much more expensive. To do. Yes, much more expensive. Um, and it's a lot of fun to make these videos. And people say, well, how can you let those boxes sit on the shelf? Skills. I like that. And it's just called um, patience, I guess. Discipline. Discipline. Just shut the door to your card room and don't watch sure. it all the time. Just pretend they're not there as hard as that is. But I keep my stuff that I have sealed in a closet with stuff over it so I don't think about it. Or all right, I can't it. open this pack. I'm going for the knife. Somebody commented about... Um, my way too long. Un no, my unopening or un I can't even talk no, now. I can't. Enough. I can't open a pack and I can't talk. I was unable to open many packs in one of our recent videos, and a commenter kindly said that I need to have man hands like Luke. I think that's correct. Yes, I do. That um, you, need to, you need to have man hands. Man hands, <laughs> like I think manly hands, mm. but. To come over as man hands. Interesting. On the comment. So yeah. you are really, really bad at opening packs. Thank you. That. Thank you. I, I've only opened up millions of packs in my life, but I guess my skill is not quite up to the caliber. Honestly, so like the way we split the videos up, I open up first, he opens up second. His half always takes longer. And part of it is he goes a little bit slower through the cards, but the other part is that he takes a lot longer to open up the packs. Now watch this, watch this. Okay, now look at look at that. Look at that. Like See? that if we if we're we look if, at if we were big into editing, that last pack that two packs ago that he opened was like a full forty five seconds. Oh, I would have kept it on there because it's all part of the fun. Okay. Um, we got a bird card back here. Birds of a feather. Interesting. These are actually very hard to pull up. Macaw. We have a parrot. Sometime we'll have to get our parrot onto the screen. He's a small little parrot. Um, he's like eight inches tall. He's, he's not like, a very big parrot. No, he's about the size of... He weighs he's less little, than a pound. He's, he's a little bigger than a parakeet, but um, green cheek conure, if anybody knows anything about birds. Actually, if you are in the mood to comment, let us know, do you have a bird at home? And if so... What kind? I know we're going to get comments like, I have a robin that comes to my bird feeder or my bird house or something like that. Whatever. I mean, cool. that's cool. Okay. Let us know. All right. Nothing in that one. Uh, Luke is definitely beating me so far. Let's do the Series 2 from this year. One of the worst products ever. No, oh, made, sorry. I'll tell you what, because I've, so I've been following like PSA pop reports and stuff. I've been getting very into the buying, investing side, because I just have a lot of fun doing that. Just as much fun as I do opening stuff. And the amount of production increase from Series 2 from 2019 to Series 2 to 2020 to now this year is ridiculous. Yes. Granted, none of these cards are in the pop report because nobody would spend $150 to grade a Cabrian Hayes rookie or whatever it might be, but uh, they're insane. Yeah, and it just like deva I mean, this is such a devaluation of like rookie cards and stuff because of that. You have to go after rookie autographs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, in so. parallels. Yeah, I did buy. Uh, I was just thinking about the Dodgers Giants. So I've been one of the things I've been doing is I've been going to auctions ending soonest and then looking for BGS slabs because BGS stuff nobody likes at the moment. It seems like. Um, and so they're very, very cheap most of the time, like significantly cheaper than they should be. Like BGS 9.5s are selling for less than raw cards sometimes. This is a uh, parallel to black. So they're very cheap sometimes. But on auction at like two o'clock in the afternoon, I have a teacher's aid class and I sit there and I look at eBay. And I saw a Clayton Kershaw BGS 9.5 Dynasty patch autograph. On-card patch auto Dynasty is like a five $600 box. Yes. Very, very expensive. Very cool. Beautiful cards. And I won the auction for like $195 or $200 or something super cheap. 
uh, for a 9-5 Clayton Kershaw patch autograph. So that's I'm pretty cool. I'm very excited, to, get excited to see that card because those cards are beautiful. If you ever go to a card show and somebody has a bunch of those for sale, yeah. it's just fun to look at them because they are beautiful cards. At the National, it seems like there's always a couple of guys that there's two guys that I always remember seeing every year. There's the one guy who has a, like two or three display cases full of Dynasty patch autographs. Yeah. There's another guy who seems like he only opens up immaculate football, baseball, and basketball. <laughs> right. His entire yeah, showcases it's, it's are just all, filled with yeah. like insane immaculate patches, uh, which is pretty fun to uh, see. Didn't get much in that pack either, which is too bad. So it is fun to go see. I mean, that is true. And most some of those people definitely aren't looking to move their stuff. No, they just kind of have it displayed. Yeah. And I mean, some people are just looking to buy it. They don't, I mean, they're not so concerned about getting a deal. They just want to add it to their collection. So they're willing to pay. I'm and not I, a big pitcher collector, but, and I don't really like buying any form of pitchers, but. Clayton Kershaw's Clayton one Kershaw's, that's hard to beat. Yes. It's like buying a Justin Verlander or something like that. Down the road, they're definitely going to, uh, I mean, unless they do something crazy in their personal life, they're definitely going to uh, maintain some and value. Kershaw seems like a pretty good dude. Yeah, Kershaw's a very good dude. He's um, obviously a Dodger, which helps. When you're a lifetime right. Dodger pitcher, there's another guy that comes to mind that's a pretty famous Dodger. So, you have a refractor. Oh, never mind. It's an insert. It's an insert, yeah. These are cool. Um, definitely not very sought after, but um, I like the talent pipeline cards. There's an Austin Martin first. That's a good one. He's now, what, twins? Yes. Yeah, is it in the Berrios trade or something? I think so. I think he's a twin. Uh, let us know if we're I way off on that. I was honestly very surprised that they moved him. I was too. Um, yeah. Interesting. Must have been a salary decision or something. I don't know, because I don't think minor leaguers get much of a salary. But Well, right. I mean, for the Berrios thing and for him down the road or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It was Who an knows? interesting trade. Let us know what you think about that. Yeah, Moustakis, and I don't know go. a ton about it, but I remember looking at it. I don't either. Like, the spiny orb weaver. Orb weaver. I cool. can't say I knew what Never that was called. Never one of those in nature. But I, I don't, don't know. know if I want to. Probably is like poisonous or something. All right, uh, 2021 Bowman Chrome. Let's see if we can pull a monster out of here because my half is horrible. Here's Luke's half is definitely good nope nope so i'm i'm skunked sanchez right mckenzie and wells 40 man features i like blaze jordan blaze He's jordan one. and dominguez so wah, wah, wah. Oh. but luke yeah that definitely was definitely smashed really out good. of the those park were, those two are Pretty with awesome. uh brian hayes and pawson um 50 number to 50 and is this one 52 where is it numbered? Yeah, it is. It's numbered to 50. Yeah, it's bottom. numbered to 50, it's right? Yes, yeah, so you can see the 50. So two autographs numbered to 50. Obviously, the Poston looks awesome and, and gold. Agreed. This is a sticker. This is on card. But anyways, that's pretty fun. Uh, hopefully, you, you guys enjoyed this. Let us know who you think is going to make it to the World Series. Red Sox, Astros, Braves, or Dodgers, Giants. Obviously, that is to be determined in the National League yet. But let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Also, tell us what was your favorite pack. And do you have a bird at home? What do you have? All right, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next break.